we went moto today and the rider Sean was complaining about the uh, engine just felt like it was bogging possibly even seizing losing power so I pulled off the oil filter cover and we got copper or brass inside the filter so there's only a few brass bearings in the entire motor and that means that we need to take this thing apart because it's nothing uh, small it's going to be something big the only parts in the motor that would contain copper or brass is uh, like the um, um, the crank, the piston, uh, connecting rod bearing. Um, there is also sometimes a copper or brass uh, bearing inside the idler gear for the kickstarter. Uh, sometimes there's brass on the clutch, um, on the clutch thrust bearing. Uh, but either way, uh, how it was bogging, I'm going to bet it's a crank. So I'm going to pull the head down, cylinder off, and I'm going to feel the, the crank, check its run out. But I have a feeling it's going to be that. If it's not, then it looks like we're going to have to crack in and check out the clutch and whatnot. But here we go. Okay, a few early steps we're going to take here. Obviously, we got to take off the seat. Uh, we got to take off the tank. We need to uh, disconnect the fuel line underneath the tank, which you just, you pinch those two gray squares, and then you kind of push it on further, and then pull it off, and it'll unlock and pull off. Uh, then we'll get down, and I'll take off the motor mounts right here on the upper ones, uh, my exhaust header. We're going to drain the water out of that bolt right there. Uh, that one. Right there, we're going to drain the water out of that. Uh, we're going to drain our oil, and I'll pick up from okay, there. Okay, uh, catching back up. Oil's drained, it's really black, torched oil, and it only has three rides on it. It should be a lot cleaner than that, so it tells me for sure the uh, the oil got very hot and was burning, and that's what the black color, I mean, this is this is black black. That's black black. So, um, still keeping uh, with my theory of it's a crank. I don't see any brass in there. I think it's more in the filter. Uh, but anyways, I got my valve cover off. Um, coolant out, oil out, um, hose disconnected, exhaust off, motor mounts for the upper part. Uh, I still need to do the throttle body. Ugh, I need to clean that thing too. And, um, and the timing chain. Uh, unplug this sensor right here, uh, unroute that hose, so there's a couple things still, but I'll uh, see uh, when we get the cylinder off and the piston off, and then uh, we'll start to diagnose our issue here, okay? Just as I suspe suspected, um, this is cool though, I mean, I changed the top end on this thing um, a little bit ago, a few hours ago, not long. And it's, I mean, it's still brand new. I'm going to be able to run that piston again, no problem. Just going to clean up uh, the carbon and ash from the race gas we're running. And uh, reuse that thing, but it looks good. But, get in here. See if you can, I, I doubt you can hear it, but see if you can see it. Yeah, it's not focusing. It's got lots of side to side slop and it's got up and down clicking so uh, it's going out that was our problem boom so connecting rod swap here we go or actually we're going to do a crankshaft assembly brought to you by Vertex okay motors out um, I had a little bit of trouble with the swing arm bolt being seized but I uh, was able to to get it out fast forward a little bit here sorry if this throws you off too um, see if I can kind of rewind a little bit so I had to take off obviously the stator cover and then the stator itself you need to use the proper puller right here uh, mine's a motion pro uh, I don't think there's any part numbers on oh but it is let's see if I get this to focus it's an M28 M28 by 1.0 and it's a right hand thread meaning it screws on uh, on 
on the shaft that way or yeah onto the flywheel that way and then uh, so pulled that off I got my counter shaft sprocket off uh, pulled all these bolts out all these all the way around here flip to the other side beg your pardon that's one handed here on this side um, now a little bit easy a trick if you're just changing the crank like I am you can just remove this nut also this nut um, is a right hand turn nut meaning to remove it you need to turn it clockwise like if you're tightening it it'll, so it's a reverse thread so do it that way but anyways you won't be able to pull off this gear all the way but you will be able to suck out the crank and you just have to remember putting it back together to put that on the other side um, got all my parts and all my bags labeled so now we're gonna go and split the cases and pull out that crank and see uh, see if there's any other damage and our cases are split just like that um, so here's here's our crank I'm pretty sure this is the OEM crank um, they usually put let me move it over here occasionally they put paint markings on them to indicate OEM uh, it doesn't say hot rods on it doesn't say Wiseco um, 2H or 2 2AH and then a 4 but uh, see if you guys could see it now yeah, probably not I mean it's There you go, you see that? Now I know a lot of that's a little side to side, but it's got some up and down too. Like I said, I had brass inside my oil, and this is one of the places you could get brass up here, and then it has the same one down here inside the crank. There's no other brass inside the motor. There is a couple, uh, you know, like thrust washers that have brass in them, but those aren't really high wear items, um, so I wouldn't suspect it to see from there. But um, everything else looks pretty good. Tranny looks good. No big notches or bad wear. Looks good. A little torched on the oil side. Um, but other than that, it's going to do good. But we're going to change out our main bearings. Going to get those things out of there. And I'm going to change out the crank assembly and put this baby back in. And there 